I'm 99 Kids from Chicago, Hyde Park native. Uh, a little bit of bio. I've been rapping since I was like six. I ain't really think I'd be like in this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Doing it how I'm doing it. But then high school came, started taking a little bit more serious. And after I graduated, like, it really became something. So I'm just happy to be in a position like this to make art and be proud of the art that I'm making. Some shit. Would you say coming up in Hyde Park kind of gave you a little bit of edge as far as your love for art? Definitely. Like, when I was younger, my stepdad used to take me through. Like, we used to walk through Hyde Park. I would see like like art exhibits and shit. Like we would see like paintings along the road, like on the sidewalks and like like new mo mosaics and shit. Like that shit. Like seeing that at a young age, like I don't know, like it really gave me like a liking to it. Like I really latched on to that shit. Though, for sure, definitely. And like like high park that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like high park that shit. Like there's so many people come like that come out of high park that like are creative. Oh so, yeah, like it's a creative culture there for real. This next question I got for you. I noticed you got a new project titled Infinity World. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Infinity World is like a Sade's 2.0 type shit. Like when I made Sade's, like it, w it was what it was. But after I dropped it, I learned a lot from it. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, I learned a lot from it. And I put that all into this tape. The favor is in your hand. Take a hand. Sade's was for like the people who got shit happening to them. Mm -hmm. Infinity World for the people who's doing shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's just my life. It's just all about my life, what I'm going through. Like, shit. <laughs> Are you just, you really telling your story on there? I'm talking, I'm talking my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this music, like, has changed because, like, the way I make it, like, it's more, it's way more organic and it sounds way more fluid. And it feels more natural, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, that's why I love it so much. Like today's, like people and people talk to me all the time about it. Like it is what it is. I fuck with it. I fuck with it because it's my music. But like I can't say I can sit there and listen to every single song for real and like fuck with it. Like with this shit, I feel that wholeheartedly. Like every song is its own song. Cause like every song when I was making it, like I was feeling that shit. Like I was in that moment. Like. This next question I got for you. How would you compare your past music to this latest project? Uh, it's like, before, it was just the, it's like, all, for me, it's like a mental thing. Like, how I attack the music. Like, when I used, when started making music in the beginning, I was like, I was writing a lot. Like, I don't write as much now. It's like, I just, like, stopped. Cause when I used to write, it just used to overthink. And it used to take me so long to do stuff. And then I kind of got to a point where I felt like, like the writing was kind of like hindering my process like because i was writing shit i'm writing shit that i think sound wrong and then like it's not translated to how my voice is so I'm, I'm just one i'm listening to my music just wondering like like why why the shit i translate you know what i mean and then i just came to the conclusion of like i just need to feel more myself i need more of an organic sound so that's what like i've been moving towards like now it's just like i get in the hoof and like we just load up a beat and then like I'm just right there in the moment just feeling that shit and like that's what really what the whole tape is not the whole tape but like majority of the tape is like that and it's just like vibes it's just like damn like this shit sound really good like that was the main thing I was focused on like making good sound and music you know people be like oh rapping this rapping that like I really don't even consider myself a rapper. Like, if I was, I would say I'm a new age rapper. Because I don't really be rapping, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just in that bitch making music. That's how I see it, for real, so. When you call yourself a new age rapper, is it more so like, you're trying to push away from that traditional sense of rap, or you just don't fall into that? I feel like, well, I'm not even trying to push away from it. I just feel like that's how it is. Like, of course, I be listening to shit, like Lucky and, Babyface Ray and like them shits be going crazy. I be wanting to recreate that type of music because I know it go crazy, but I just can't because it's not me, you know. So I can only really make this shit. Like I can only really do myself, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just like it's just happening. Like Chicago, and that's what I'm saying. Like Chicago has like a specific sound that people think of. Yeah. And I'm not that. Like I don't I don't got that. If certain people look at that and say like, damn, that's a disadvantage. But I kind of look at it as an advantage because, like, you got all these people who want to want, want to hear new music, they, you know, and if it sounds different, it's... And there's so many artists from Chicago who have, like, 
who have not used the traditional Chicago sound like at yeah. all and still blown up. You yeah, know, like yeah, Kanye West. Like, like that's like one Juice of my World, biggest like inspirations. Of like Kanye West for real. Like them just some examples for real of like motherfuckers like on like a branch off the shit. That's what I'm trying to do. And that's why I don't worry about it. Cause it's like I heard my music sound like how it sound now. But like I just feel like my music could reach a bigger audience because of how it sounds. It's not like like a, a one type of group thing, like how some of the music here sounds. Like I feel like my shit could reach other states. Like it don't have to be just a Chicago type yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how I feel with my shit. I definitely get that. This next question I got for you, what do you hope this project is gonna do for you? Really? Really? I'm just hoping this project just continue to put me in the position to do shit. Like I I don't know, like I just didn't feel comfortable with like doing things with today's, I don't know why. Like I just didn't feel comfortable with it. Like it just, I don't know. I just had to come into my own. But with this shit, I feel so comfortable with it. Like I just know it's gonna allow me to be able to do anything I want to do. Cause like every song, I could push out every song. I could shoot a video to every song. I could perform every song. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm trying to do everything with this. Like everything I can. I'm trying to milk this bitch for as long as I can. Like for real. Like so. Whatever it is, like you name it, like I'm, I'm there. I'm, doing, I'm trying to do that shit. Like, are you really trying to show off your versatility with this album? Mainly, I'm trying to, I'm trying to develop a fan base. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to create this sound that when people think of me, they can associate. You know what I'm saying? Like, who can I think of off the rip? Like, like, like Gunna. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. hear Gunna, mm-hmm. people don't think of Gunna like, oh, this nigga finna. You know what I'm saying? Be rapping his ass off, like. They be like gonna voice smooth and his shit sound. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to create that type of thing. This next question I got for you: What was the craziest moment in the studio while you were recording this album? The craziest moment. Shit, let me think. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the craziest moment. It was. <laughs> I was I was recording a song, <laughs> and like how I was going. Like all right, like I was in the middle of a verse, and then it was like four bars at the end of the verse. And then it was a bridge that was already made. It was like the second verse. The bridge was already made in the first verse. And <laughs> like, I'm trying to like, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to go through it, like fill in, fill in the four bars. And like, I was just going and I, I like, it wasn't, it wasn't set in stone. But then uh, the bridge came in and that bitch sounded so crazy. Like, that bitch sounded so crazy. I'm like, okay, okay. So then I finished the four bars. I finished the four bars, we finished them. And then I hop out, I hop out. And then we hear that shit all the way through. And I swear to God, when that shit came through, I'm just like, wow. My engineer just like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just didn't even like, damn, that shit sounds so fucking raw. That's why I'm just like, I can't wait for this shit to drop. And which song was this? It's called Gal- Galaxy Goddess. Okay. Galaxy Goddess. Stay, stay on the lookout for it. Like, do you think that's going to be the big one for the album? <sighs> hey, I've been thinking about this because my friends been asking me, like, what's your favorite song? Like... I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what song is gonna blow up, what song is gonna be the best, what song is gonna be the worst. Like I have zero. I had more of an idea with today's because I just feel like like I it was that had a high made the music. But like I like all the songs, so like it's really hard for me to say which one. But I ain't gonna lie, that song I feel like that is one of like the best songs I've ever made. Like I be listening to that song like I don't know how I made this. Like I don't know. So, I mean, I could see it being the one off the tape, but there's plenty of other options too. <laughs> Next question I got for you. How would you say Chicago has shaped your music taste? I would say Chicago has shaped my music taste in like such an impactful way. It's so many Chicago artists out there who I find inspiration in. But like also, I don't know, like it's, it's not even just like who's different or whatnot. Like, like Chief Keith, like that shit prime 2011, you know what I'm saying? Like even now, like it's just, I like hearing people in their fucking bag. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of Chicago artists that be in their fucking bag. Like them niggas be going crazy. They really inspiring. Like individually, they really inspiring. All together, they are, they really inspiring. Like I feel really honored to be from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit. Would like, you say the inspiring part is like the drive behind it all i like like i don't know I like hearing i don't know like when i listen to young thug like he's not from chicago but like i'm just, just an example like when i listen to young thug hearing him it's like damn this nigga is doing his thing to the max like when i used to hear chief key back then like love sosa i'm like damn like that shit 
Like, that shit was going crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, you could look at him and be like, this nigga is him. Like, that shit. Because a lot of people not themselves out here. Like, yeah. authenticity is like, I, I appreciate that for real. This next question I got for you. Uh, what does Chicago mean to you? Chicago means everything to me. I be thinking about like, damn, what if I was from somewhere else? Like, that was like, like, <laughs> except New York. New, I fuck with New York. I fuck with New York. But uh, I don't know, like, growing up here, Chicago culture, the food, the music, like, I don't know. It, it has like shaped me, like who I am, and like what I've become. And it's like, like, not just like my music, but like how I live, how I think, how I go about life, like all this shit for real and it's just like I don't know like I'm glad to be from here like motherfuckers go other places and try food that shit not good uh-huh. like that shit not good like, like here I don't know it's home it just feels like home it is home you know would you say that um, there are lessons that Chicago has taught you oh yeah for sure Chicago has taught me plenty of lessons like I didn't got finessed, I didn't got jumped, I didn't got beat and robbed, all that shit. Like, not even just the bad shit, but just like with school and anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's definitely taught me a lot. And, you know, you could look back and, you know what I'm saying? Like, say you regret this and that, but like, I'm glad everything happened the way it happened. Cause like, I wouldn't want to be anywhere than like where I am right now, for real. Like, in terms of like my life, like how I think. And so that's really the biggest thing. It's just like the maturity of Chicago and like how I grew up as well, like that I, gave me that I have now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really, I'm really appreciative to have that shit. Uh, okay. On that same note, uh, what resources do you think the city needs the most? Resources? Man, we need some better funding to the South Side. That's what I really feel like. Like, I be driving through the South Side and shit, like, on Marquette and just seeing, like, weeds come up on the sidewalks and, like, shit like that. Like, we can get the streets fixed. Like, shit like, we just need funding more, fund more funding here in the South and, like just recently, like uh, somebody passed like gun violence, and it's just it's nonsensical, you know. I just feel like we need like to fix these buildings, you know what I'm saying? We need to update the school books, like <laughs> real, yeah, real there's, shit. There's like, so much opportunity on the south side, right? like, like like they just need the funding for real. You motherfuckers know? need to throw some hoops or something, like yeah. create some basketball courts, like you know what I'm saying? Like get motherfuckers off the street for real, like get them something to do. Especially with how the South Side has been treated as far as, like, like by government and administration. Like, it's pretty obvious that they haven't been given, like, the same resources treated as well as crazy like, everyone up north and everything. It's like, if they got at least half that treatment, it would be a completely different place. Completely different, like, but, like, I don't, like, I just, it's just, it is what it is for now. Because, like, I just know it's not going to change unless, like, we make a change for real like it's gonna take more than one person to make that change for real but like I, I don't know I just like I just want to be in a position so bad to help to give back just cause like I've been like down on my ass for real you know what I'm saying like like real life and like mentally and just like I know what it's like yeah I know what it's like and motherfuckers don't gotta we don't have to go through that shit down here like over here you know what I'm we don't gotta go through that shit so I don't want us to have to. Like, I just feel like that. I want to be the city superhero. Like, I want to be Chicago I like Superman. I like that. I feel that. I, I, I want that for real. And how do you plan on getting to that point of being the Chicago Superman? I just got to start within the communities, you know? Like, like I feel like I, I got to start with my community first. You know what I'm saying? From Since I'm from Hyde Park. Like, start there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's elementary schools around the area. It's high schools. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kenwood. Like, High Park funded for real. Uh, thank you. No problem. High Park funded for real, but, like, start there to build something. Like, build something. You you build something there. Like, you think shit like brew fest, like that. Things that bring people together. Then, boom. Like, when people leave, it expands. It, it disperses to other places. That's what I hope to achieve. Like, like you know, a, a piece of that energy kind of leaves with them. Yeah, like, yeah. motherfuckers come here. We all here doing one thing when we leave. Like, now you going and you spreading that same energy where you at. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I hope. Like, positive diffusion and shit. Like, uh, is there anything else that you like to talk about or add that I missed out on? Shit, man. Let me oh. think. The music video. 
music video. Music video. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely forgot. You just dropped that music video. Like just dropped the music video, ago, right? Yeah, like a couple hours ago, like 90 minutes ago, something like that. Music video drop. Shout out to my boy Carefree and my videographer. Shout out to my boy Don Rubio and shout out to my boy Icy Benz. They all pulled up for me, like, that's real love. But it was fun. We shot it out in Wicker Park. Okay. It was fun. It's fun as fuck. Like, that was my that was only my second video shot. Uh-huh. But, like, I'm coming into it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the first one, I was hella nervous. But this one, like, I felt more comfortable. And I was just like, yeah, like, I'm finna, I'm finna get that. Like, these videos gonna get raw and raw. Because I'm just learning so much after, like, after everything I do. Mm-hmm. Would you say you're really ready to just take off? Hell yeah, I feel that. I'm ready. I'm really ready to take off because I just feel like it's uh, it's all a mental thing. It's all a mental thing. Like if you feel ready, you can be ready. You can do anything you want to do. Like if you just set your mind to it. Yeah. And like I got my mind set on like what the fuck I want. And so any of this in between ain't, ain't gonna stop me. Boy. It ain't gonna stop me. G. As long as you keep your head straight. Hell yeah, I'm on a mission for real, and I ain't I ain't no dumbass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm handling my shit because right. time will pass you up, man. Oh yeah. Like, like I've been like this, we started. I started like in 2019. Like started back up in 2019. It's 2021. I'm gonna be 22. Like, like time will pass you up if you don't beat on your shit. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? So Next I'm, thing you know, you're gonna be like 30. Oh God! Like, <laughs> I, ain't trying to, like, I ain't trying to look up and be like, damn, what the fuck happened to time? You exactly. know, like, yeah, I handle sure, my shit sure. now. Yeah, where can people find you on as far as like music, uh, social media, stuff like that? Music, they can find me on Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play, Deezer, <laughs> Napster, <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram, Kez Finite, K E Z F I N I T E. My Twitter is 99Kez. That's basically all I'm, where I'm at. Where I'm at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's a perfect note to end it on.